Hello Taurus and welcome to your weekly update. This is for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. This is for September the 11th through September the 18th. Okay, what are the messages for the sign of Taurus? What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know, please? What do they need to know? All right. So Taurus, we're going to go ahead and get started for you. All right, energy between you and your person. We have the devil. Your person has the hair fun. You have the sun card. All right, three major arcana. Some serious, serious, serious energy coming in for you uh, this next week, Taurus. Serious energy. All right. So let's continue here. Energy between you and your person. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Your person has the Two of Wands. You have the Nine of Cups. All right. Very nice. Ace of Swords wanted to come out. And there it is. We have the Ace of Swords in the center. Your person has Temperance. You have the Knight of Swords. All right. So, Taurus, there is a huge shift. Huge shift in energy that's coming your way. Your person has the Hierophant. Somebody wanting to take things to a much deeper level. Now, this could be some form of a toxic connection or codependent type of connection that's going on here with the devil uh in the center okay so just be very mindful about that um and how you connect with this person right could be some addictions here you know it could be you know i, I really what i'm getting is a un, it's like an unhealthy desire like this person has an unhealthy, unhealthy desire to be with you or, or you them, you know, or you them. But it's just a sense of something being very, um, very toxic here, very toxic. And it could be, you know, I mean, you have the sun card. So it's kind of like something being exposed or Something is just coming off as very, um, just be mindful of this person's energy. But I honestly, I feel like you guys, you guys have a very codependent way of dealing with one another. It's really what I'm getting. The two of you have a very codependent way of dealing with each other. Like you, you guys can't let each other go. It's just very, um, it's very toxic. You know, that's, I, I'm, I can't think of another way to explain that. Nonetheless, this person, you desire this person. Like, this is a, definitely a wish fulfillment. Could be overindulging in alcohol. Just keep that in mind. But this, this person makes you, it makes your, it makes your heart happy. This person makes your heart happy, right? Now, this person is at a crossroad. They're going to be choosing their path. And I feel like they're going to choose you, especially with the fact that they have the hair font up top. Uh, and there's going to be an offer that's going to be made from either you or them. I'm feeling like the offer is going to be made by you towards them. Okay. You being very clear about what you're offering them and what you're expecting in return. And I feel like when you go in, you're going to be very swift about it. Like not taking the time out to truly think it through. You're just going to go in and do it. Now, this person may take a little time to respond to that because they're trying to take things slow. They're trying to think things through and they're trying to remain balanced. Okay. So tell me more, please. Tell me more about the devil. Why is it here? Why is the devil here for Taurus reading? So it's just a sense of you guys, things are not balanced. Like your person is aware that it's not balanced, but obviously you're not. They're aware. We can see that they're aware. Here, they're aware. In here, they're aware. 
you know, and they're trying to bring balance into the situation, but you are just kind of just going with, you're going with it. Okay. So tell me about the terrifying, please. Why is it here? Why is it here? Could be you, you know, the, the devil could just be you indulging in, you know, some type of drinking too much or something like that. Maybe your person is a very religious type of person and they're trying to be there or be counsel towards you to help you, you know, kick some form of a habit or something like that. Could be. Okay. Yeah, because see, there it is. They're talking. They're talking to you. They're, you know, trying to bring forth some form of clarity. So it's like... Something being off balance. And they're aware that it's off balance. And they're trying to talk to you about it. Talk like reason with you. Now, you know, Taurus, you're not really trying to hear it, whatever it is. So, and I just keep hearing, you know, overindulging. 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 Tell me about the Nine of Cups, please. Yeah, see, and whatever it is that you're overindulging with, you're you're very sneaky. You're very sneaky about it. Tell me more. Yeah, you're not speaking about it. You see, you're not talking about it. Um, you're not talking about it with a person that you're romantically involved with. And then we have this eight of wands. You're not talking about it. You're sneaking and over and indulging in something behind your person's back. But they're trying to bring balance into this situation. It's like whatever it is that you're sneaking around doing, they, they kind of got a hunch. They don't know exactly what it is, but they have some type of hunch or intuition about it. Tell me about this Knight of swords. Jeez. Yeah, it's like you're going, you're returning back to something often. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. Okay. Huh. Tell me about the two of wands. Two of wands, please. Tell me more. Okay, I see. Okay, so something's going on. Your person has an idea of what's going on here. You are overindulging. You are definitely, you're out. You're overindulging with, you know, your passion. Now, this person that you're dealing with is, they are somewhat aware that something's going on. Or, or either they all, they outright know because there's heartache here for them. And this is why they're at the fork in the road. Like this is why they're at a crossroad because this person might be thinking about leaving. Problem is we have the hair fun again. Like you could be married to this person or y'all could be engaged or y'all could just be in a deep connection. They don't want to leave. Like the person cares about you. Tell me about temperance, please. Yeah, see, they have emotions for you, so they don't want to leave. They want to, they want to, they want to fix it. But they are aware that there is some kind of third party situation going on. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Yeah. Now, whoever you have this extra thing going on with. You're manipulating uh, this other person that you, you do have these other dealings with. It's pure manipulation. You have no feelings, no true feelings for that person. Now, that's not really going to matter to the person that you do care about. It's not going to matter. Yeah. So that's what's going on there. All right. about some let's do an oracle spread for you yeah, 
I silly? Why did I do that? All right. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. What are the messages, please? What do they need to know for their highest good? What do they need to know for their highest good, please? What are the messages? Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What do they need to know? Transformation. What do they need to know? Okay. So, what you need to know is. person that you're dealing with the feelings okay so this person's they have true feelings for you right this person definitely has true feelings for you uh, but you're killing them with this soul transformation whatever it is that's going on that they feel like they know about that you think that you're being sneaky about you're killing you like you're causing them to change all right this is what's going to change. This organic love that they have for you, this unconditional love, is going to end up coming with some conditions. They're getting to a point where they are not willing to talk about it. So I feel like this person has expressed themselves to you. I feel like you guys have had a conversation about it. And they're getting to a point of being tired of wasting their time talking about it. You are caught, but you're not owning it. You're busted. They know, but you're not owning it. You keep trying to lie your way out of it. So you're thinking that the connection that you have with this person is strong enough to withhold you doing the things that you do. But it's really not. It's really not strong enough. Like this person cares about you, but they miss the old you. They miss the old you. This this person that you are now, that's not what they want. What they want is the, the person that they love. This person wants to take things deeper. But you are killing the vibe. Like you're killing it. You're killing it. And that's unfortunate. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this. What are the messages for Taurus, please? What do they need to know for their highest good? We love. What are the messages, please? see that codependency romantic feelings so you just is this is what this is saying is you like to have a new thing around what what makes you go to these new situations is just you know having that spark you like that initial spark you know that, that initial spark at the beginning of, you know, something new, a new entanglement, right? That's that's what you're codependent with. That's what you're addicted to. The newness, you know, that's what you're addicted to. So it's easy for a new person to stir your romantic feelings because you are addicted to the beginning of, of new connections. You are just addicted to that part of it. You know, and when you get past that part, it, it all dies for you. Okay. And I feel like your person is aware of this and they are wanting you to free yourself. Right. It's time to take back control of your life. They want you to free yourself from that energy. I feel like this person prays for you. I feel like this person, you know, I feel like this person has a a, a, a very, um, how do I want to say? I just really feel like this person is a very religious person. 
you know, and they, I just keep getting, seeing these going to the Bible type of thing, you know, where this person goes to the Bible and that's how they're trying to get like manifest change in you by praying for you, praying for this connection. Past life relationships. So I feel like, you know, this is somebody that you've had many lifetimes with. I feel like this connection that you have with them now has been something that's been ongoing. All right. They're ready to take it to something deeper, but you keep playing these new love, romantic feeling, codependency games. Okay. So that's what's going on there. I don't see that you're going to stop necessarily. It's just like a to be continued type of energy that I see. So you haven't made a decision on if it's something that you're going to stop or you want to stop. You haven't made a decision on that, which is why nothing showed me, you know, whether you were stopping or whether it would continue or what. It's just this is what the energy is, you know, and that's that. It's kind of how that both readings uh, present it. So, you know, I guess, you know, Taurus, I guess it's still kind of up to you right now what you want to do with that information. All right. But if this resonates with you, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future readings. If it does not resonate with you, that's fine. Um, please watch your moon and rising sign readings to see if there's any messages there for you. Thank you for watching. We will be back next week on the 18th to update. All right.